Hi, welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So today I am heading to Leeds to go and see In Dreams at the Leeds Playhouse. I've never been to Leeds before, never been to this theatre so I'm really excited. Hopefully I'll be able to find it. I'm getting there early so I can hopefully find it in time. I'm going to the matinee that starts at 2. Um, I think it finishes around 5. I think my train home is about 7, so I should get home for about 9 o'clock, something like that. But yeah, I'm really excited. Obviously, I'll show you. I don't think there's any merch for the show, but obviously, I'll show you the theatre. I'll show you my view from my seat, and then I'll review the show when I get home. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. I'm just at the tram station now. It's a quarter an hour of wait for till my tram, which I wasn't expecting, which means I'm not gonna get there till five to ten. That means it's not coming here till five to ten. So I'll only have 40 minutes to get there. So hopefully that's enough time and I'm not late for my train. But yeah, got a quarter of an hour to wait. Because we wanna, we wanna Yeah, we just wanna have fun The trunk's full of wine We're gonna stay up Have the time of our lives The night is young Don't need anybody else We came to party all night long And we don't need no chaperone We don't need nobody's attention Yeah, we just wanna dance I've just arrived at Victoria train station because today I'm at Victoria. Usually I always go to Piccadilly, but there was more train to Leeds from here, so this is where I am today. I've only got half an hour to my train yet, so I've got a while. I'm going to platform six, so I'm gonna go and find that and just hang about for a bit. Okay, so about 15 minutes to my train now, so Let's see if I can go through. Okay, so I'm on platform six, so looks like I need to go up the stairs and across the bridge. I think it's the train that I got once when I was going to my sister's house, Liverpool. It's on the same platform. That one says no entry. Please use the green stairs. This way. Not these ones.
just arrived in Leeds. Now I just need to find where I'm going. Okay, so I've now arrived in Leeds and now I've got a task of trying to find out where I'm going. It's supposed to be a 10 minute walk, but that was the same with Sheffield, it took me an hour, so we'll see how long it takes. So I have finally found it and it did, it took me an hour. I was walking the opposite direction for ages. Dyslexic people can't read maps. I finally found it, but I only have an hour till it starts. I'm not eating yet, but I think they have a cafe inside, so I'm gonna see if I can get some food inside. This is it here. Uh, these are the menus. Just here. I'll just show you. I'm fussy, so there wasn't really much that I would eat. Uh, I didn't have time to go anywhere else. So I've got. Uh, I just got some garlic bread with cheese and some fries. And that's all I got. And then you get a little buzzer, a little buzz when your food's ready and you can collect it. We've got like water over here. In fact, I'm gonna get a cup of water. Okay, so my food has arrived. I went for garlic bread with cheese and fries because I'm not a massive pizza lover. They do do pizzas. Um, I suppose I could have got a pizza, but I just got this and some fries. They do like paninis, I think. I think I showed you the, the um, menu anyway, but yeah, I've just got this. Just so I'm not too hungry during the show. Uh, I think this came to like £12, and this was £8, and this was £3, something like that. So yeah, I'm going to eat this now. Got about 45 minutes, I think, before the show starts. Okay, so this is my ticket for today. So as you see, it says I'm in the Courtyard Theatre. Uh, my seat said 7, and it says Courtyard Free. So the door is Courtyard Free, so... Need to go and find a uh, courtyard door free.
Okay, so I am sat just here in Z7. It's quite a weird layout. Um, but yeah, this is my seat, Z7. And then this is my view. Here. So it's not a bad view. These are only 20 pounds. So. Yeah, this is my view. So this is 20 pounds. This seat's not too bad. But yeah, I will get back to you now in the interval. Let me you know what I think. Program these are four pounds, and yeah, it's gonna start any second, so I'll get back to you now in the interval. Hi, so it is now the interval, and I'm really enjoying it, it is really good. Really looking forward to the second half, and the second half is only an hour, so I'll get back to you now after the So I've just come into the stores just to show you what it looks like in the stores. This is the stores. So the show has finished now it was really good really really enjoyed it definitely get down to see it if you can uh, i'm going to tell lawrence about it but i don't think he's going to be able to come down and see it before it closes but it was a really really good show so i actually have two hours now before my train um if it takes me an hour to find the train station then um it's probably a good good thing that it's two hours but yeah i'm gonna go and find the train station and maybe get some sweet around there because i didn't eat very much I didn't even eat all my chips that I bought because I just wasn't that hungry. Um, so yeah, I might get something sweet before I get the train back. So I won't get home until nine. So I will get back to you now once I'm at the train station. Okay, so I've just come to McDonald's to get some dinner before I head to the train station because it's only a five minute walk to the train station here. I didn't really eat very much of the lunch that I got. I left all my chips. Um, so yeah, I'm going to eat this and then I'll head to the train station. I've got an hour yet till the train anyway, so... There we go, I found the station. It was much easier to find the station it was to find the playhouse. But I realised what I did wrong. I turned left instead of turning right. That's why I got lost. But I've got, I've got almost an hour now till my train. So I'm just going to sit down and probably just play my phone for a bit till it's time for my train. so early my train isn't even on the board yet so yeah at least I have to sit down and wait
Okay, so I'm back in Manchester, Victoria. Need to try and find a tram. At the minute, it doesn't look like there's any going to Altrincham from here, so I might as well go to Piccadilly. such a lovely time going to Leeds um, to visit the Leeds Playhouse and see In Dreams. I'd never been to the Leeds Playhouse before but it is such a lovely venue. I uh, really hope I get a chance to go there again have a proper look around it. It's got a few theatres in there. Um, in Dreams was in the Courtyard Theatre which I think is the is one of the smaller ones. I think there's a bigger one which I think is called the Quarry Theatre. I'm not entirely sure if that's right, but I think it's the Quarry Theatre. And I think that's the bigger one. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. But they definitely have a bigger theatre in there. And then the courtyard is a smaller one. So I obviously travelled down to Leeds from Manchester. Um, so I got the train from Victoria today, which usually I get a train from Piccadilly. It's very rare I get a train from Victoria. But all the Leeds trains seem to be going out from Victoria. So I got it from Victoria. I got the slower train because it was a bit cheaper so it took about an hour and a half but I think you can get a faster train that takes about an hour um I think it ended up costing me 15 pounds return however when I first looked at going it was only going to be seven pounds return I think because I left it till um the week before I was going to buy my ticket they went up a bit which is a little bit annoying but I wasn't sure whether I had childcare or not, so I couldn't book the train tickets until I had childcare confirmed. So, yeah, you can get there for £7 if you book in advance. Um, but £15 isn't too bad. And I paid £19 for my ticket. Um, I did want to sit in the stalls, and I was literally just about to buy some tickets in the stalls. And when I clicked on it, someone else had bought all of the last, I think there was three last ones in the store, and someone had bought all of them, just as I was about to buy them, which was so annoying. And then what also found really annoying today is there was quite a few seats in the stores that were empty, but had must have been bought because they weren't on the um, booking thing when I went to buy them, so obviously quite a few people mustn't have turned up. Um, which was, I was, I was actually tempted to go and sit in one of the uh, empty seats in the stalls because there was two empty seats on the front row and two empty seats on the second row because I would have happily have bought those seats if they would have been free well when I went to buy them they, wa they weren't so the only seats that were left when I booked were in the upper gallery so I was sat on Z7 and um, I think maybe that was a bit too close to the stage I think if you sat a little bit further back uh, you might have got a better view because from where I was sat there is a screen on stage which plays um like a few things throughout the show and I could barely see that because I was too high up um so I think if maybe the next level down I'm not sure what that's called the gallery level level down that might have been a better place to sit because I think you would have been able to see the screen a lot better I mean it wasn't necessary to see the screen for the for the story it just had a bit of background and I think it just had the sunset um and there's a bit where they're driving a car and it sh looks like road that they're showing you on it and um, so it wasn't necessary for the story but it would have been nice to see everything on stage also where I was sat sometimes if people were on the far left of the stage I couldn't see what was going on there either so yeah like I said it's probably either if you are sitting in the upper gallery don't sit so close to the stage maybe sit a bit further back you may be able to see a bit more or if you can sit on the tier below or preferably in the stalls I think you probably get the best view 
but like I said they were the only tickets that were left when I went to purchase them but like I said that seat was only £19 so I think the view that we got that I got for £19 was pretty good so they didn't have any merch for the show with it being a new show and only having a limited run um, but they did have programs so I did purchase a program this was £4 um, I will go through this with you later. But yes, yeah, so I'll tell you a bit about the show now. So if you don't know, In Dreams is a jukebox musical which features the music of Roy Orbison. I think it has about 20 of his songs in the show. Um, it's, the show also comes from the team that brought us Anne Juliet. So it has director Luke Shepard and book writer David West. So the show itself is all about love, death, and grief and is based around the Mexican Day of the Dead where they celebrate life and death. So the show tells the story of Kenna who is a singer songwriter who used to be in the band Heartbreak Radio. Kenna uh, actually gets some devastating news about her health. She actually finds out that she's got cancer and so is forced to face her own mortality. So Kenna decides to for herself her own memorial service because she wants to enjoy it with her friends and doesn't want to wait till she's dead. She wants to be able to actually go to her own memorial service, memorial service and enjoy it. So Kenna actually throws her uh, memorial party at a little Mexican restaurant who specializes in tacos, margaritas and memorial services. And the restaurant is a little family run business which is owned by um, Oscar and his wife Nicole and they also live with Oscar's grandmother who is called Anna Sophia. Um, so they all run the Mexican restaurant where Kenna is going to hold her memorial service. So Kenna decides that at her uh, memorial service uh, or party that she wants to try and get her old bandmates back together um, so the band her bandmates from um, Heartbreak Radio so with the help of Anna Sophia she um, texts all her friends and gets them to come to her memorial service however she doesn't tell her bandmates the real reason for the get-together she just tells them that it is a going away party so that is the basic story behind In Dreams. So as well as the main plots, um, some of the other characters do have uh, little subplots going on. So you have her bandmate Jane and Donovan who are married and have five children and their sort of subplot is how they are feeling disconnected from each other. So that's their sort of subplot. You then have the restaurant restaurant owner Oscar and it's his subplot is how he is dealing with the grief of the loss of his parents. You also have chef Tom who is the chef at the restaurant and his subplot is that he is actually a massive um, heartbreak radio super fan. So you do have those little subplots going on as well. I have to say I do think the show did a really good job of um, working the Royal Britain songs into the script, like into the story. Um, they didn't feel like they were just shoehorned in. Um, they felt like they really slotted in well to the story. And also there was quite a few Royal Britain songs that I actually recognised. I didn't think I actually knew very many of Royal Britain's songs, but there were quite a few in there that I recognised, like Pretty Woman, I Drove All Night, um, Crying. Um, so yeah, I didn't actually know they were Royal Orbison songs, but they were all in there and I, I really enjoyed those. In fact, my favourite numbers from the show were probably I Drove All Night, um, which was performed by Oliver Thompson, who um, plays Ramsey, who is one of Kenna's bandmates, but also her ex. And yeah, that scene I thought was really, really good. Um, his voice was excellent on that song. And yeah, I just enjoyed that whole scene. They sort of made like a car up from props um, on stage. And I, yeah, I just thought it was a really good scene and his voice was excellent on that song. Um, so yeah, that was one of the numbers that I really enjoyed. Another number I really enjoyed was Crying, uh, which was performed by 
uh, Lena Hall who plays Kenna and her voice was excellent on that track. She's got a really sort of rocky sort of sound to her voice and I just thought she sang that song perfectly. So the set for this show I thought was pretty good. I really enjoyed the sort of restaurant set. I thought it had a lot of detail um, in it, lots of little props. And yeah, I just thought the set looked really, really good. They did have, like I think I mentioned, the screen at the back, which um, like just showed that like, the pattern of the day and like during the um, drove all night scene, it had like road, picture of road on there. However, like I said, from where I was sat, you couldn't really see it very well. So I can't really comment too much on what went on on the screen because I didn't really see much of it. But um, but yeah, I thought the set was really, really nice. Definitely looked like a little Mexican restaurant. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed the set, I thought it was good. So the cast for this show were all absolutely excellent. They were really, really good. Standout performances for me definitely came from Oliver Thompson, who played Ramsey. Uh, like I said, he was one of Kenna's bandmates and her ex, uh, ex boyfriend. And Ramsey is um, an English. Uh, well, he used to be the drummer in the band, but now he's an Uber driver. And this just seemed like the perfect role for Oliver Thompson. Like I said, he was great in the number. I drove all night. Uh, which is one of my favourite numbers from the show. And yeah, this role just allowed him to use his like cheeky, humorous side. And yeah, he was really funny in this role. I just really enjoyed his performance. And also Lena Hall as Kenna. She was just excellent in this. She's got such an amazing voice. It's sort of like got a rocky edge to it, which just fits perfectly with the role of Kenna. And yeah, I just thought she played the, the role really well. She was really funny, witty, and yeah, I just thought she was excellent in this role. Okay, so I'll now just quickly go through the program with you. Okay, so this is the program. Like I said, this was four pounds. So it's pretty good quality, actually. It's good thick paper for the price, because like I said, it's only four pounds. Uh, but the quality does seem really good. So on the first page you have a welcome message just about welcoming you to the Leeds Playhouse. And then you have uh, the In Dreams song list. So this lists all the songs that are in the show. So I'll just go through them. So you have Dream Baby slash In The Real World. End of the line, you got it, communication breakdown, I drove all night, running scared, he's a mystery to me, what's well, changed to she's a mystery to me, blue bayou uh, slash only the lonely, margarita, a love so beautiful and handle with care. Then you've got not alone anymore, Flash in the real world reprise, crying, heartbreak radio, oh pretty woman, it's over, mean woman blues, love hurts, in dream slash crying reprise, wild hearts run out of time, and you got it final. Then you've got a little article here, The Journey of In Dreams. Um, an article here about what does the Day of the Dead and In Dreams mean to you. Um, this is Gabrielle Garcia. You've got some rehearsal uh, shots in here. here why Roy Orbison got this here take five quick fire questions fi take five quick fire questions about the world of in dreams and here you have the cast list the musicians 
creative team, stage management, production credits, and thanks. It also says here it has a running time of 2 hours and 30 minutes, including a 20 minute interval. And Act 1 was actually 70 minutes, and Act 2 was actually 55 minutes, so that was the duration of each act tells you about some of the different performances they've got. So they had an audio described performance, British Sign Language performance, caption performance and a socially distanced performance. And then here we have the cast biographies. So playing Kenna we have Lena Hall. Um, so Lena Hall her, is a Tony Award winner and Grammy nominee. Um, so Lena has been in Hedwig and the Angry Itch on Broadway. Um, she also originated the role of Nicola in the musical Kinky Boots and she recently played Audrey in the off-Broadway revival of Little Shop of Horrors. So she's done a lot of good work there. Oliver Tomset played Ramsey. Um, you might know him mostly from his recent role as Shakespeare in Anne Juliet. But he's also been in Pretty Woman, um, he's been in Kinky Boots, Guys and Dolls, We Will Rock You. Uh, he's been in Wicked. He has done a lot of West End shows. Then you have Sean Reese Williams playing Jane. Um, she's best known for her portrayal of DCA Katie. Katie John um, in the BBC detective show Crafe. I've never watched it, so I don't know. So she's done quite a bit of fur to work. However, I'm not sure if she's done any musicals before this one. Um, but uh, she definitely should do more because she actually had a really good voice. So, yeah, she was really good in her role. Then we had Noel Sullivan playing Donovan. He's played Mike in But I'm a Cheerleader at the Turbine Theatre. Uh, Grey in the Rhythmics, he's been in Starting Here, Starting Now, School of Rock, so he's done quite a lot of theatre work. Then we had Manuel Pacific playing Oscar, so he's been in West Side Story, uh, The Night of Iguana. And he's been a Michael Jackson tribute. So then we had Gabrielle Garcia. She played Nicole. And she's also the cultural coordinator on the show as well. Um, as Gabrielle is originally from Mexico. And obviously this features a lot of Mexican traditions in it. So she has previously been in A Streetcar Named Desire. She's played Maria in West Side Story. She was Mimi in Rent at the Hope Mill Theatre. Um, so yeah, she's done lots and lots of theatre work. We then had Alma Kurvu, Kurvu, I'm sorry, I'm not very good at pronouncing names. She played Anna Sophia. Um, so she's done a lot of Broadway work. So she's done On Your Feet, Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown. She played Mrs. Potts in Beauty and the Beast. She's been in Cabaret, Titanic. Uh, so lots and lots of theatre work. We then had Richard Trinder as George. He has most recently played Sam Carmichael in Mamma Mia from the West End. Um, he's played King Lear. He's been in Romeo and Juliet, Hamlet. So yeah, lots of stuff there. Uh, we then had Leon Craig playing Tom. He's played Sandra Bullock in Everybody's Talking About Jamie. He's played Ruth in Paris of Penzance. He's been in Annie Get Your Gun. Disney's Aladdin. He's been in Little Shop of Horrors. So yeah, again, lots of theatre work there. We then had Hannah Ducharme, I think it is. Uh, she played Bianca and she was an ensemble member and she also is the understudy for Kenna, Jane and she's also the dance captain. 
we then had Mark Peachy, he played Officer Lee, um, he's part of the ensemble, and he was understudy for Ramsey, Donovan, George, and he's also the resident director. We then have Pablo Gomez Jones. He is an ensemble and he's also understudy Oscar, Tom and Officer Lee. We then have Fabiola Ocaso. Um, she played Fernanda and she is understudy Nicole and Bianca. We then have your musicians. Your creative team. You've got your thank yous here. And then it's got a list of volunteers. And yeah, that is your program. So that is quite a nice program. Um, and it's only four pounds. Quite a lot of information in there. So overall for me, I would say In Dreams is a four star show. Really enjoyed the story, loved the music. And yeah, just thought it was a really good show. Uh, it is on at the Leeds Playhouse until the 5th of August um, until Saturday. However, I think it's pretty much sold out. I think when I looked um, the other day, there's only like one or two seats left. So if you wanted to go, you're gonna have to be super quick because like I said, I don't, there's only probably like, I think there's one or two seats for each performance that's left. So yeah, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to get to see it before it leaves. Um, once it leaves Leeds, it's actually going on to Toronto um, in Canada. So that is the next place it is going. I don't know if it will be back to the UK anytime soon. Um, hopefully it will because I think it will do really well in the West End. I think it would be a really good show. I would love to see it again if it does come back. I would definitely take Lawrence. I think my husband Lawrence would love it. Um, but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this little vlog. Um, if you do enjoy theatre vlogs, I do do a lot of them on this channel. I recently went to London and saw five shows, so I'm in the process of editing those vlogs. Um, so if you'd like to see any of those, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified as soon as those go up. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye.